Hey, welcome in everyone. Welcome to Thursday night. How's everybody doing tonight? Uh, Kathy should be down momentarily. Reese ran off literally as soon as I was about to go live. But uh, yeah, how's everybody doing tonight? Let's see. I don't even know if Kathy knows that we're live. She might have lost track of time. Let's get a little bit of music going. You guys ready for Super Bowl? Ready for Valentine's Day? What's going on? What's going on? Sag Travel Girl, what's going on? Good evening. Rob was here a little bit earlier. He said, howdy, just dropping by to show my support. We'll try to make the live, but if not, I'll catch you on the next one. Rob, thanks so much for showing the support, man. Kathy says, be right down. Do you need anything from up here? What should I ask her for? I have a water. I think I'm good. LA Jen, what's going on, Jen? <clears throat> Says hello to the Gingerbot. 40 Kiefer, hello, what's going on? Maya, welcome back. How you doing tonight? Mandy's here, just finished up thrifting and headed home. All right, well, if you're driving, drive safe. Drive safe. Jen says, who are you rooting for in the Super Bowl, Chris? Um, I wouldn't say I'm rooting for anybody, but I, I don't know. I like, I like the... Uh, the Niners quarterback, I, call, I saw a couple videos of him. I like him. Uh, when I was watching football, I was a Broncos fan, so I'm not a huge fan of the Niner, of the Chiefs, but uh, we're not really going to be watching the Super Bowl. If it's on, wherever we're at, we'll I'll keep an eye on it, but I, I haven't really made it a point to watch football. Hey! Did your dog come down? Uh, no. He, like, ran off. There he there. is. Literally, like three seconds before I push live, you just saw him walking out. Oh, I was looking for lotion because my hands hurt real bad. She's got the dry hands. Kelly, what's going on? Welcome in. So tonight, Kathy, you got a few things to list, right? <laughs> I literally Probably just not enough. Up like 15 things, so I do have enough, but. What kind of lotion you got? It smells like flowers. Does it burn? <laughs> like my knuckles have been getting super I'm good. <laughs> Jasmine peach. <laughs> I don't want to I don't want it to burn. It it's hurty. Queen Yuri, welcome back. How you doing? Kelly's here, the artful journey. Hello. She says I love your jacket, Kathy. Thank you. All right. So at least you're not even on your mark. We don't have any treats for you, buddy. Tommy's here. What's going on, Tommy? Just watched someone lose $20,000 playing slots on YouTube. You know what I could do with 20 grand? <laughs> <laughs> oh, how do you... Uh, like, how long did that take? <laughs> What slots let you bet, bet 20 grand? Like, how does that even work? That is insane. Hopefully they, uh, they're they still all right. <laughs> Able to make some, buy some food. Get on your bed. So I don't have your screen up, but let me know. Yeah, not yet. Lil N's here. What's going on, Lil N? How are you guys doing? We're doing okay. I do have to warn you guys. I have been sneezing. I don't. I haven't been around Kathy a whole lot, but I have been sneezing a lot today. So if I sneeze, I'm sorry. You're outside or what? I think yeah. Dusty. I was working on our deck at the old house. Um, trying to get it wrapped up but uh one side of the deck like it just like warped really bad like the boards were not good <laughs> 
And so that whole side of the deck just really warped and sagged. And so I kind of been rebuilding that side, but uh, there's lots of like weeds that I chopped down in the summer. And so they're just like dead weeds. And yeah, I think it really messed with my allergies. <clears throat> it was super windy too. An hour, it took them an hour to lose 20 grand, $80 and $100 bets each spin. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh my gosh. How's the house coming along? It is getting there. Um, we're probably what? <laughs> I know, I'm, I'm not like laughing at no. you or anything. I just, it's just every week. I'm at the stage. No, I know. I'm at the stage was. where I feel like I'm getting really close. And then I find something. I'm like, man, I got to do something about that. Like, I just got to do something about that. Um, like I was going to leave curtains up in the living room and, uh, Cause the back door, like I hate vertical blinds. So I never had, we never had them on the back door. We just had like curtains. Oh, did you already put those up? I yeah. Over. So, um, one of the, one of the companies that I was looking through had like a checklist of signing in and they required vertical blinds. And the more I thought about it, like, I was like, you know what? Like nobody's going to want these curtains. So I just kind of like, yeah, I'll just take care of the blinds. It kind of matches the, the nice mini blinds we have. <laughs> the $10 ones from Walmart. But, uh, so just stuff like that. Just, you know, I feel like I'm getting somewhere, getting all close. And then I, I look somewhere else and oh, I should take care of that. <laughs> Another thing I did today that I thought of today was, uh, the downspouts in the backyard. Um, they were just kind of dumping on the deck, which is not good. And so I added some extenders to kind of direct that off of the deck so just stuff like that yeah but it is it is coming along um and i've been doing a lot of research about property managers um i've probably looked up at least 10 online and i've narrowed down to a couple that i want to talk to um kathy and i have kind of looked over the stuff but uh yeah as far i mean it's it's crazy how different they are like how they handle things, but the blinds where the blades go from the top to the bottom, hate those kinds. Yeah. The ones that are, yeah, I, I don't like them. I used to install blinds for a company called budget blinds and there's not a whole lot you could do for like sliding glass doors or doors in general. Like it's doors are just a hard thing to put window coverings on. Um, I mean, they've got some like really nice looking vertical blinds, but it's a rental. So <laughs> I think I got a, it was like f almost $40 from Lowe's, just like a, a generic off the shelf one white, but yeah, I don't like them at all. It reminds me of like some of our first apartments that were like in the, <laughs> the not so great part of town. Like you sneeze on it and like the things fall off and they never go back up. Why would that be a requirement? I, I, I don't know. I don't know if it was, I don't think it's a requirement for everybody, but for one of the, um, for one of the, uh, property managers, I think it was just their kind of standard thing. <sighs> like they said, don't leave any curtains up and then the back door would be uncovered. And then they said they required blinds and all the windows and the doors. Huh. I mean, if you know, from a renting, from being a renter standpoint, like you got to have coverage on the door. It's, it's a sliding door that goes right. You know, in that neighborhood, all the backyards, there's no privacy fences. So everybody can kind of see in your yard and then they could just see right in your window. So. Okay, um, I'm still not ready. <laughs> not ready? But I'm done with uh, <laughs> I'm done with my labels for now. I so need I, to like draft a few things. I said I was rooting for the Niners, but uh, everybody leave <laughs> after I said that. How like here? I'll put a little poll. I know we did one last time, didn't we? But maybe not. 
no, I won't do that because we did it last time. Call the what? Oh. I was just in for Super Bowl. Super Bowl's this weekend, right? Oh. <laughs> Unless we're making soft pretzels and cheese, I no. don't care. <laughs> I know that's that's how I'm kind of feel, but you know, like when we go to church, I'm sure people are gonna talk about it and stuff. We're gonna be like, oh, what? <laughs> what is football? has I did activate and I got um auto delisting all set up has it been working for you have you noticed uh, <laughs> well I haven't noticed because you said you set it for 10 minutes after and I <laughs> can't stop myself you've been from doing, just it? doing it myself yeah <laughs> well I mean I did change it to one minute I mean I have noticed sometimes that it is done <laughs> so I don't know I did change it back to one minute. Okay. I changed it back to one minute because when it wasn't when it wasn't working with Kitizen, it uh, it was just seemed like it was doing it too much and bogging down the, the internet. I'm Not the internet, but my browser. Some stuff drafted, then I'll be ready. <laughs> when I walk the dog, I appreciate those with no blinds. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> it is part of my name. Tommy in Seattle. See it all. Peep and Tom. Is it? <laughs> I'm trying to make the connection. <laughs> I said see it all. Is it like Seattle could be like? Maybe. See it all. See, I think. Are you? Are you a peeping Tom? <laughs> Tommy. Peeping Tommy. <laughs> Kelly says Niners. Jen says, I also like the Niners quarterback story, but I guess we'll see what happens on Sunday. Yeah, um, I don't know. I saw this TikTok. It was Taylor Swift s s going on and on about the number 13. I don't know. She's like, I don't know. My birthday is on the 13th. My So she's, she's saying everything in her life about the number 13. And then it like cuts to the, to the Niners quarterback, and apparently he's number 13. <laughs> so... Uh, I thought it was funny. You are a peeping Tom. And that's why blinds are a requirement, you weirdo. <laughs> <laughs> you ready? I, I mean, I could... I mean, I just want to put the screen up. You can so put my screen up, but it's not much to see. I'm still drafting. I'm trying to at least get five drafted. I just did like two or three. I literally came straight from the bins, photographed everything. I know. We literally got home because <laughs> the kids had Taekwondo tonight. It's like almost like their time to test for a belt, a new belt. So they, they kind of do these pre-tests kind of things where they got to... Like do the poom say, which is like a a pretend fight kind of thing, or like break a board. So they get tested for all these little aspects of it to make sure that they're ready for the belt test. And uh, we kind of we go a lot more when it's about to be belt test, so that they can actually get their belt and move on up. Diva chick. Tidbits and treasures. What's going on? Kansas City. That's who you're going for. Grandma's favorite team. And Kansas City is my... Or KC is my nickname. All right. Oh, why is it on top chat? Maybe that's the problem. Is this on top chat? Live chat. Sorry if I missed anybody's chat. What's going on? Kelly says, when I moved into this house, I'm so old, I didn't understand how the blinds had no pull string. You could just use your hand to lift them up. Yeah, that was another thing I did was because <laughs> um, we had blinds that had the pull string in half of the windows. And um, yeah, I was just like, you know, it's just easier to change them all to the same. So I just, I 
I did change some windows that were in okay shape, but just got them to be the cordless lift. Do they still do Super Bowl parties with buffet tables full of food while you're drinking and watching the game? <laughs> no. <laughs> Nobody's invited us to one yet. <laughs> Right. Anybody want to invite us and our two kids? <laughs> I mean, what? we don't really know many people that watch football anyway. Yeah. Like my friends are a bunch of nerds. So they don't. They don't watch football. One of my friends who's into sports likes baseball, and I don't really like baseball, so we just don't really talk sports. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm bored. I could start typing. Is it no? I've run out of things to talk anyway? about. <laughs> so, Kathy and I have a date tomorrow night. Where should yeah, I take her? Let's do go? that. I was about to ask that. <laughs> I uh, I'm horrible with coming up with date plans um, because I don't like doing anything. I said we should just go make a video. <laughs> <laughs> we haven't made much videos. Yeah, we have. Like, if you don't want to go anywhere, I would just want to go to Goodwill anyways or thrift store. <laughs> Sharon says, for the auto dealer stainless perfectly, is it still in beta or open for everyone? I'm a little confused and see it on my computer, but can't find it to set it up. Um, so it is still in beta, but I it is open to everyone. You everyone can download the beta and be a part of it. Uh it was kind of in a closed beta for a little while, but basically anybody who has the pro plan can activate it. You just have to download. There's kind of two simultaneous plugins right now. Um, so you have to download the beta one, the version 1.0.114.6.0. And in order to have it work, all you have to do is have the sales detection on and have your stores linked up and checking sales. So it's, if it finds the sale, like you'll hear Kathy's thing go cha-ching every once in a while. That's a detection of a sale. And as long as it's doing that and all your other stores are, you know, logged in, it will delist those automatically. So, um, let me see. I... Obviously with it being in beta, there's still issues here and there. And if you do have any issues, feel free to, like I highly recommend to let them know, message them. There's a link to do that. Oh, there's a version update. Maybe they set up a new update today. Let me see. I haven't looked at this today. Um, If you haven't you like used this perfectly yet, and you want to try it out, use code Ginger. Um, well, basically, if you have the Pro plan right now, you have access automatically to the Pro Plus, which is what the auto delist and and the AI listing assistant and all that is on. And they've extended that to be basically a free upgrade for the whole year. Trying to get a link. Honestly, I don't know if this. Let me send it here. That's a link to how to set it up or how to make sure it's active. Um. So it'll say it's currently in Pro Plus beta version. Click here to install. Um, one thing I haven't done and I think would make it work better is if we got rid of all the issues that we have because we have con like link issues, connection issues. In the past where um, 
Kathy would cross list something to Poshmark. And then a week later or so use Posh or VA to delist and relist that would cause a desync. So list perfectly didn't know what web address the listing was. Um, and so it can't delist it if it does that. And since we've done that in the past, it's just, it hasn't been linked, but there's, there's easy ways to link it back up nowadays that didn't exist back then. Uh, we just haven't done it. We just need to go through and do like a, like a clean slate kind of thing. Um, any plans for Valentine's day? What day is it? Wednesday? Yeah, pretty much just our date night, I think. Yeah. We're going to celebrate it tomorrow. Um, I guess the kids, the kids have, have parties. Like a, well, at school. On Tuesday, they have a skate city night. If you want to take them. Yeah, we could do that. They were asking about that. I said we should take them to Entertain Mart for actual. Because <laughs> they got a Switch for Christmas and they only Entertain have a Entertain Mart. Games, so. See if we can find some cheap games. Let them pick out like one game. Outback Steakhouse. We can have that anymore. They closed them down. We don't have any here anymore. I, I always... How did I... You okay? Is it this? <laughs> yeah. I always make it smaller next. Oh, are you right? I haven't shared your screen yet. Oh, I've been typing out. I've already typed out. Oh. Like... <laughs> I accidentally shared my screen. <laughs> uh, here we go. Kathy's going. Wait, do we have one? On what? Apparently there's one. One by In and Out closed. Is there one by the World Arena still? There's one by the old Chicago on Woodman. Oh, um, that's still there. It looks like it's it says it closes at ten. I thought they had closed down here. Um, because they did have one here, and they closed it down and turned it into an in and out Sorry, I would have typed stuff, but I'm in the middle of weighing a whole huge stack of clothing. Hey, don't stop working. <laughs> it's not your fault we're boring. We're just boring. Uh, Jen says, anything y'all both like, like food-wise or entertainment-wise? No. We're not similar in any... <laughs> any fashion well, we both like food but not yeah. even really the same kind yeah. um but opposites attract right attract attract is it nice weather there yet maybe a nature walk well it's I don't think it's nice in the evenings what is the weather tomorrow I'm gonna do some more work on the deck tomorrow day. Dark. Is a nature walk fun in the dark? <laughs> Remember back in the day we'd go on night hikes. Remember when I tried to get us to rock around like Monument Lake, but it was like <laughs> we couldn't see anything, yeah. and it was just like that was not that fun. <laughs> it would have been fun if it was light. Sharon says, uh, can you just come to my house and set it up for me? <laughs> so tomorrow uh, is a high of 35. Ooh, that's going to be cold. That's going to be cold to work on the deck, but it's supposed to snow on Saturday, so I've got to get something done on there. gonna be chilly is that a no <laughs> she wants me to go or fix it on her computer take that as a maybe <laughs> so you're telling me there's a chance have you ever done an escape room they have a few here we want to try yeah. we have we've done two maybe three yeah we did one with the kids out i liked that one better we did one on we did one on our own which you pretty much did it all because yeah we actually i have uh well we still have the one I found at the bin. We, we have like a board. We got a box <laughs> kit, like a yeah. game for like at home one. 
I'm just not good at those things. <laughs> it's like, it stresses me out when there's like an hour and the timer's going off and you're trying to figure out the clue. I think you just don't give yourself enough credit. But, yeah, we, we do. I mean, I like an escape room. I like it much more with a, a group. I like yeah. collaboration. I like to show people that I could be smart sometimes. <laughs> Maybe y'all can try a new restaurant each week on a date night. And if you don't like the food, just quickly get takeout from Chick-fil-A. I would really I do. would venture a guess to say that we've tried probably <laughs> well, last night ninety eight we percent of our the, the restaurants Korean here. Wings. That was so good. Yeah. I almost want to just get that again. I mean, I, I, I know. I'm down for some. What's it called? Um, bon Bonchons. Bonchons. <laughs> if you guys have a Bonchons, like if you I'm like, also thinking Indian. Ooh, food. Super Bowl Sunday. <laughs> if you guys like wings, like chicken wings. And you haven't had like Korean chicken wings? Try Korean chicken wings. They are like the best chicken wings I've ever had. They're so crispy. We've got this place called Dog House, H A U S. And they've got some really good, really good crispy chicken wings. <laughs> Take that as a maybe. High of 35. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Is it going to be windy? Because 35 is not too bad as long as it's not windy. Uh, it was like kind of windy today, but today was a high of 45. Uh, doesn't tell me the wind for tomorrow. Try something new. Thai food, Greek food, Moroccan. Then walk the mall and see all the closed stores. <laughs> uh, the malls are so lame. They are so they are so lame. Sixty-one degrees in Venice, and is that Virginia Beach? VA Beach. Nice. Lucky. What about one of those smashing stuff or throwing an axe places? You could always go old school and go roller skating or bowling. I like bowling. He does. Yeah, I, I would do axe throwing, but we we tried to go axe throwing one time, and it was like a restaurant slash axe <laughs> throwing, and we get there and we're like, oh yeah, like should be fun. There was one lane. It was almost like like going to a bar where they advertised darts, <laughs> and there was one dartboard. <laughs> um, and so there was people already throwing axes, and so we're like, yeah. We're not going to, we're not just going to go eat food here and not be able to throw axes. So we went somewhere else. I don't even know where we went, but try ABC dating. Start uh, at A and do something that starts with A. Um, this is where I, I turned to chat GPT. <laughs> I wonder if it knows locations. Let's see what ChatGPT has to say. Cindy, if you right click on that picture, you can actually at the time search for the Google listing. can actually at the time search for the Google listing you can right click directly on less perfectly um, like one of these what do you what do you mean you can right click on the picture and it will take it will at that point give you the place where you can search within Google Yelp So go to list perfectly and right click on a picture. Search in Missouri. So 
so it does Google search right there. Look at that! Cindy! Uh, thank you. I'll probably forget. That's awesome! <laughs> I don't know what you did, but <laughs> it looked pretty cool. Um. Cindy, thanks! <laughs> you explained it well once I like slowed down and saw what you were saying. Destiny, Retro by Destiny, what's going on? Haven't been able to stop by for a while. Glad to see your faces. Glad to see you. You doing all right? She's very pregnant. Very pregnant? <laughs> so you're probably very miserable right now. <laughs> oh. The wishing clock. I go ceramics painting or browse a bookstore. Uh, that and some appetizers somewhere. So ChatGPT says, for a memorable date in the Colorado Springs area, consider these ideas that blend natural beauty, adventure, and culture. Garden of the Gods Park. It'll be more fun in the spring summer. Yeah. Nice. Pikes Peak. Drive. Should we drive up the summit of Pikes Peak? <laughs> I've always wanted a to hot air that. balloon ride. So Oh, let's see if the auto do this, huh? Ooh, minute. yeah. You guys might hear it through my computer this time. You want to do a hot air balloon ride? I don't know. I saw a video of a hot air balloon ride that kind of went sketchy. Like it got all windy as they were trying to land and it was dragging them around. Cheyenne Mountain Zoo, Old Colorado City. You want to do the incline? The Manitou Springs incline. You know That would be a great it's, date. It's possible I could actually do it. <laughs> <laughs> it's very possible I won't be able to do it. A wine tasting at the Abbey. That's all the way in Canyon City, though. That's where Jenny got married, right? Yeah. Oh, it is delisting right now. There goes the Poshmark delist. I didn't hear a cha-ching, though. All right, so it, I think it delisted. Sales, what was it? Let's see. Talbots? Is that what's sold? A Talbots confetti uh, knit? Yeah. So it looks like you only had it on Poshmark? Yeah. Okay, it delisted. Noise. Didn't get a cha ching though. I in a while. <clears throat> Jen says there's also cider cade. Cider cade? Where it's food and drinks with old school games. Is that like a cider? Like beer and arcade. Like I always oh, want to go to Texas. a bar and like that has music or something, but I don't actually want to like drink like, other than like. Wine. You know, remember that one time we went to that margarita? Yeah. We saw like that. It was like an Irish band. Mm -hmm. That was fun. It was like a, like a real pub feel. Like down, you go downstairs, and there was they were playing some like Irish jigs and stuff. Cidercade. So this is all in Texas. That looks fun, though. So it's basically like an arcade for adults with that beer and stuff. <laughs> like Dave and Buster's ish. Is that in the spring? No. It's in Texas. <laughs> Mimi! Says hi, Kathy and Chris. I'm driving back to Atlanta. From Columbia, South Carolina, I am driving. Mimi, drive safe. Stop at every thrift store you see. <laughs> Michelle, hey, hey, Marvin's listing with you from Dallas. All right. Is that <laughs> Huh? 
see Cindy, um, you told Kathy like a better way to do it. It'll take her, um, a long time to, <laughs> to adjust to a different way. What? Oh, <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> uh, all right, let's see. Mimi says, I am listening while driving. I am using talk to text. It sucks. Destiny says, 31 weeks pregnant is so miserable and pretty is pretty correct. <laughs> hey, at least you don't have to go through the summer. Yeah. Silver linings, right? Art and wine class. You want to do like a... What's it called? Painting with a twist? With a twist? Springs. Nope. Kelly says, you got a Patagonia jacket with tags at the bins? No, I got, but I did get it for free because somebody joined with our code on Mercari and I had like $80 credit. So I bought this for like $71. So but free to me. I'm going to sell it for like $100. Hopefully. Thanks, everyone <laughs> who signed wants up. To join Mercari with our code. <laughs> Manny made it home. Had a very successful day thrifting. Awesome. Great Everything job. Else I just typed out was from the bins today, though. The stocking, three Starbucks mugs, all these shoes, and that nighty. Oh, and I listed this pottery barn. Let me just show you guys this one. I listed two things today so far. This. That we got at the bins. And like, I mean, the only one I saw sold, I think, was like 128. It was a queen size. And there's only like one listed that's a queen size, I think, for like 150. Is it a stock some photo? New it tag ones like really expensive. So, anyways, I priced it at one ninety. Hopefully, it sells for like one fifty. That'd be awesome. We did use it at our bed one time, but I don't love it. So, yeah, it's not really my style. Um, even these little pottery barn mugs, which I found the other day, I probably priced them way too high, but I saw some solds of just two mugs with nothing else for like $28. So I was like, let me just do like 10 bucks per thingy. <laughs> See how it goes. What about seeing if there's a local fair or circus in town? Circus? <laughs> I just looked up some events. So let's see what events that one place by Bass Pro I feel like always has live music or something by no, Bass Pro restaurant. oh the notes. restaurant that's like changing some yeah it's been like four different restaurants yeah so dang there's a lot of stuff going on tonight um two and a half hour cocktails in canapes what's that <laughs> A Valentine's Day murder mystery? In Manitou? 6 p.m. to 9 p.m. <clears throat> we did that that one time, remember that? What? That murder mystery dinner? Um, we like Stephanie. Stephanie. Yeah. yeah. I like 
want to go to 1929 and mafia boss big louis is set to wed local showgirl bubbles in a celebration that will become the most memorable event of the prohibition era make sure to dress in your speakeasy best ah, we don't have that <laughs> uh, includes a three-course dinner and costume contest Open mic night. <laughs> A princess bride live in concert. We will not describe the conversation. I don't know what that is. And where is a cidercade? Maybe I'll go next time I'm up there. There's one in Arlington, Dallas, Fort Worth, Houston, Austin. Sheesh. Destiny says, very true. Had uh, two of the others in July, so winter is a fun change of pace. Both our kids are July. <laughs> Do you have a hot springs in your area? I really um, want to go. You should make yeah that like that would be a weekend kind of yeah, our anniversary is in two months we don't live close enough because we have like our kids are they have a parents night out event at a like four hours yeah so that we have like a specific time frame that we're we got to keep it in maya says i think one time i got a referral credit from Mercari. i never gave out my code so i guess maybe it popped up randomly on google hey that's free money <laughs> Or what about a date budget challenge? Flip a coin to see if you all get the cheap or expensive date. Cheap is like $5 or less. $5 or less? You want to share a stick of gum? <laughs> like, That's why I said, let's just go make a video. Let's go pay for our date <laughs> while we make a video. Uh, and expensive is like $500. I mean. And then see if you all can successfully make it. Canupes are like finger foods. Can you pace? Gretchen, someone posted today on a reseller site about eBay calling them out on an item not being allowed to be listed or words names being used. Two surprised me. Onesie and Crocs. Everyone sells Crocs. Well, Onesie is one of those Vero words. Onesie yeah. is a brand name by Gerber, right? So it's like uh, the Gerber onesie is, uh, it's almost like the word Kleenex. You know, everybody uses the word Kleenex for a tissue, but it's it's really, Kleenex is the brand. So that's onesie, that does make sense. But Crocs would work if it's a pair of Crocs. Right, I wonder if it's- If it's not a pair of Crocs, then- saying it to like a fake, not fake yeah. brand. You know, something that looks like Crocs, but it's not. Kelly says, can you clarify what the code for Mercari is for? Does it reduce the seller fees? Um, no, like it's a sign up code. So if yeah. you don't have a, like Kathy. Um, Just like if you join our code. Yeah, if you anything, join like Mercari. To the whoever signed you up. For the first time. Right. Mercari's is pretty cool. I must have got 80 bucks. So whoever joined probably joined. You get 10. They yeah. buy something. And then if they sell. You can get up to fifty more dollars. So yeah, Mercari has a cool, yeah. a cool like tiered sign up. So does Kitizen. They give you five dollars, and then they give you like twenty percent of everything the person sells in like a month or three months, up to three. I don't know. Yeah. I used to get a ton of them, but now I barely. <laughs> I always get excited when I have money there, though. Princess Bride live in concert at the Philharmonic. I like to go to like a Broadway type show. Do they have those in Denver? Not tomorrow, obviously. <laughs> is that what this is? I mean, Beethoven, or is it just a music? Oh. 
that's cool. So this would be like watching the movie, but all the music is played by like a live orchestra. That'd be kind of neat. Have you, you've never seen The Princess Bride, have you? I don't. Can you guys believe that? <laughs> Can you believe she's never interested. she's never seen The Princess Bride? <clears throat> I mean, I've seen it at least like four times. How have I seen it four times and never with what you? What a waste of life. <laughs> uh, think free for cheap, uh, like going to the park, free exhibition or museums, and buying some food with a coupon or something small y'all can share. Chris gets mad if I try to use a coupon. <laughs> I don't get mad. I get mad when you try to make me use another coupon at the same time. Do you guys do that? <laughs> If like, it's like uh, one per person, I'll be like, oh, well, I'm you cool can with, both use one. Then. I'm cool with one coupon, but she's like, oh, I've got five. So I'm you you take Cyrus and you go, but we don't let us know. Don't let them know that we know each other. You go in. I'll come in five minutes after you. Get get my <laughs> food on this coupon. That. That's what you think we do. That's do. how you do it. I mean, I'm no, like, what? I don't care if they think we know each other. I think the coupon says one per person, and that counts. <laughs> You're your own person. I'm like, we're saving a dollar fifty own here. Own Let's just. <laughs> <laughs> Inconceivable. <laughs> one of my faves. See a lot of people like that movie. A lot of people like it. Have, st have fun storming the castle. It's a classic. <clears throat> but yeah, I, I'm cool with like a coupon, one coupon. <laughs> Our person. <laughs> <laughs> like my my level of, of <laughs> acceptance of coupons is if the waiter or waitress wants to kill me by the end of it, I, that's unacceptable. <laughs> I mean, it's annoying when places <laughs> give out coupons, but then make it like the hardest thing ever to use them. <laughs> Tommy says, I'm with Kathy on the coupons. Well, you guys can have fun with that. Uh, I just get, I get so embarrassed. <laughs> well, why? <laughs> you should be like, yes, I'm using a coupon. I am saving money. Yeah, now I can not buy. Not a coupon. In my head, I'm like, oh, now I can buy my Starbucks tomorrow <laughs> with like saving. Yeah, just buy the Starbucks. <laughs> <laughs> Gretchen says Gone with the Wind is also a classic but I've never seen either of those movies you've seen Gone with the Wind right uh, no. <laughs> no I mean I think I've seen it once when I was a kid but is it a musical is Gone with the Wind a musical <laughs> Katia says I'm also with Kathy <laughs> At Cold Stones, they have a sign that says only one per party. <laughs> so that's when Kathy would be like, okay, we're three parties. <laughs> yeah. I've never had a, oh, cool, I made a sale. Let's see if a D-list from eBay. <laughs> oh, this one's on Kittizen too, so we should make Ooh, so, yeah, I want to check that. We don't really get to check the auto D-listing while we're sitting here. So that's, I like. What's funny about Cold Stone is I'm like, where do you get Cold Stone coupons? Because I don't even know where you get They don't have them. I know, but then they have a sign that says you could only use one. <laughs> For your whole party that's there with you. Hey, I use as many coupons as I can. <laughs> hey, it's coming out of someone's pocket. Better them than me. The way I see coupons is we wouldn't even be here at all if it wasn't for this coupon. So yeah. if any money you're getting from us is more than you would be getting from us. This is why I just don't let coupons make <laughs> decide my life. Does she ever do extreme couponing? We did. A little, uh, yeah. I mean, not extreme, no. but we did... We buy with, like a I, I five was too embarrassed newspapers. to do more than like one or two. Like, You're too embarrassed to do that? I was too embarrassed to do that. But not to do it on a restaurant? Like at, like extreme couponing, the employees get really mad because they don't understand the coupons. When it says one per purchase and you have all... Per purchase means per item that you're purchasing. But they get real mad thinking that means like your whole purchase. <laughs> And then, so you wouldn't do like the buy the 500 tubes like, of dude, toothpaste this coupon, you get this money back store like this is not just you getting it like they get to cash those <laughs> anyways I, know. I just didn't like that we never had a big stockpile or anything I mean I I, I would like a stockpile uh, I 
I'm not going to be a sheep coop because I need a reset. <laughs> That's what we should call our death pile. It's not a death pile, it's a stockpile. <laughs> that is true. Wait, it's not I a musical. What I see it now is I've made my money back enough <laughs> on like when I'm going to bins only. Yeah. It's okay if it's like kind of packs up. <laughs> I've already paid for it. What? Uh, Kelly's asking, do you have a studio movie grill nearby? Dinner and a movie together? Like Roadhouse, is there any good movies out? We do have this nice uh, theater where it's like they, you can order food while eating in like your recliner chair. Um, and the food is actually pretty good, but it's basically like, uh, standard, like the movies that are in theater right now. I used to love that show. A surprise when the stores ended up giving the customer money instead. Yeah. And today... For these 17 carts of groceries, here's a check for 13 cents. <laughs> uh, mean Girls, Wonka, Scrambled. I'd watch Mean Girls. Would you watch that? I would watch it. I don't know if I'd want to pay as much as this to watch it, though. It's date night. Ooh, Dune Part 2's out. No. No, it's not out to the first. Why is it saying? I have it picked for tomorrow, but it's showing me this. And the Bob Marley show movie. Madam Web. American Fiction. Poor Things. Argyle? What's that? Oh, they got Dune replaying before the Dune 2. I mean, none of these are are looking good. I don't really want to go to a movie. I mean, I'd watch Mean Girls, but tomorrow the three showings are 10.30, 7.20. 7.20 probably wouldn't work, huh? So 10.30 a.m., 7.20 p.m., 10.05 p.m. That'd probably be too tight. Hmm. Coupons come out of the company's advertising budget and the stores get the money back plus like five cents more than the amount listed. So they make more and more. Yeah, but then you got the... I mean, I understand as a cashier, you know, having to scan like a million coupons and then a million items like... Who cares your dollar? <laughs> You're like an hourly employee or whatever, but. Or look, cinema. It's similar, but a big, it's a big theater. Do any of these Broadway shows? Not for tomorrow, but do any of these look interesting to you? Pretty Women, Pretty Woman, the musical, the Cher show, nope. Little Women, Hairspray, Momix. I don't know. I've never heard of any of those except for like Hairspray. <clears throat> Diva Chick says, I'm a Kathy too. That's, oh, that's the K, Kathy. Uh, Tom, what's going on? Good evening. Favorite musical? I like Sound of Music and Hairspray. Oh, and Mulan. Like the, I guess, is it a musical? I like Disney movies, musicals, because they sing. I, I, I wasn't expecting Wonka to be a musical. 
it makes sense because the first Willy Wonka was um was a musical, but I mean it was it wasn't bad. I liked Wonka was a good movie. And I saw this cool connection piece where um there's a part of the movie where he's singing about like his money that he has. He's like got like ten dollars or whatever, and he's like, uh, I got ten dollars to my name or whatever, and then by the last one the song is like him progressively spending or losing money. And the last coin, he flips it up in the air and it like tries to catch it in his pocket, but his pocket has a hole and that coin falls into like a grate in the street. And then I saw that it was, that's the coin that Charlie used that he found in the grate in the street to buy his golden ticket. I thought that was kind of cool. Madam Webb looks good. I mean, I'd see that, but Kathy's not. She don't like superhero movies and stuff. But I'd I'd see that. I'd see that Beekeeper movie too. But you're not into adventure like action movies. Nope. Goddess Threads, poor things, is the weirdest movie I've ever seen in my life, and I'm old. <laughs> That's a raving review. <laughs> Uh, Samantha, did you create an LLC for your reselling business? And if so, did you get eBay 1099 to reflect the LLC name? Uh, we did LLC. Um... I don't know if we did the other part. <laughs> I'm trying to see. Is there going to be a problem if we didn't? Are you running into a problem right now, Samantha? Um, how do I see? I guess I can just look at the 1099K. Hmm. Yes, my first year as an LLC and wondering how to differentiate business eBay from personal if it's not in my LLC name. Yeah, we did not. Um, we did not update that to the LLC name, so I don't know the answer to that. I'm gonna have to look into that. Maybe I can write a note. Did you see if that ever delisted? Oh, um, it does not look like it showed that it was ending on anything. So it was a Kitizen sale. So it's probably because I like messed up the numbers at some point <clears throat> or what? Well, let me see. Let me look in the list perfectly for that item. That might be what it was. <clears throat> um. Oh, wait.
Is it this Mon Petite Green Leather? Yeah. Sold on Poshmark? Yeah. So it's showing there. Why isn't it showing on this? It is linked to the you ended the eBay one or no? No. So it ended it on eBay. <laughs> I thought you said Ketism wasn't working anyways. Right, but I I mean I said I've I've got it connected so it should be working. But it didn't. It didn't delete it. Hmm. Oh. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know why. It doesn't even show that it uh, completed the other one. Right, well, it's been long enough, so I'm going to go ahead and end it on Kitizen. So we can't trust it yet. Not for it. I mean, it seems pretty good on Posh and eBay. For yeah, Posh and eBay seem to be working good. Cashiers hate them because they take time, and most cashiers are timed per transaction. Ah, I see. They get their their uh, their ratings messed up. Le Miserable. Le Miserable. What's up, T-Board? Ben, I liked Encanto, so I tried to watch Hamilton because I it's the same composer, writer, and I just couldn't get into it. I've heard good things about Hamilton. That's my my niece's favorite <laughs> musical. Macy was talking about Hamilton. <laughs> I'm curious uh, what everyone tells people they do as a living. Are you upfront about being resellers? I am, but I'm old and quit caring about other people's opinions a long time ago. Um, what do you say? When somebody says, what do you That's do? That's a good question because you guys, I messaged the, the mom oh. that wanted to do a play date with Psy Guy. Kathy <laughs> set up a play date. And it's going to be weird because I don't know her. I don't know anything about her. I'm sh so it'll just be like small talk about like, what do you do? <laughs> so I don't know. What do I say? I just usually just say <laughs> I'm a reseller. Or I usually say I sell stuff on eBay. Yeah. That's what I tell. I. It depends on the person for me if it's just a drive through like starbucks person they'll be like oh what are you doing for the day oh just working oh what do you do i work from home i sell stuff on ebay that's that's what i kind of say um i think one time i said something like we sell stuff on ebay and we make youtube videos about it kind of thing and it just opened up conversation that I just didn't really want to have. <laughs> like I'm in a drive through lane. Um, but I don't know. I still, I, I rarely tell people that we, we do YouTube, but as far as reselling, I just say we sell stuff online. That's what we do. We just work from home for ourselves. <laughs> Ben, maybe try into the heights. Hamilton is one of my faves, says Kelly. It was elated. It won two front row you won two front row tickets to see it. Otherwise it wouldn't have been able to been able to afford it. 
That sounds cool, though. Some front row tickets. Gretchen says, my daughter is a teacher and kids tell teachers everything. I do mean everything. How do your kids describe your jobs? <laughs> I don't know, but Connor's teacher was making fun of him wanting to be a YouTuber. So <laughs> yeah. she wants him to join the Air Force very, very much. <laughs> that was a, an interesting. So we uh, we were at the parent teacher conference and um, Connor's in gifted. So he's, you know, he's. Adva more advanced than most of his class. Um, and so she's kind of noticed it and she's like telling us like, oh yeah, like, you know, I asked all the kids what they want to do for a living when they grow up. But, um, you know, most of them said they want to be YouTubers and, you know, including Connor. But, you know, I think you guys should, should really consider because she said her daughters were both uh, Air Force officers and... I think one of them recruits. I don't know. I don't remember the exact specifics, but she was basically trying to recruit my nine-year-old into the Air Force. <laughs> and I'm like, um, you know, she kind of alluded to the idea of, of a YouTuber kind of being <laughs> like an outlandish idea. And then like when we were kids being like a yeah, athlete or something. Right, right. <laughs> and so Kathy was like, oh, we, we actually make a, a living on YouTube. <laughs> Um, and the other day, Connor, <laughs> Connor said, my teacher keeps trying to make me join the air force, but I don't want to risk my life for a job. <laughs> I kind of cracked up at that, but I'm like, you're nine, dude. You don't need to really think about this right now. Like play some video games. Tommy says, just say you're an internet entrepreneur. Maya says, I usually st still say I'm a nurse. I quit in December, but I'll probably go looking for jobs again soon. trying to look up this eBay thing. Yes, kids say everything. If they, if I tell my kids I'm going to the store to buy a present for X person, <laughs> he automatically thinks thrift store. Thrift store? Not a bad thought. <laughs> my, you have an awesome name and very to being a palindrome. Ah, it is very close to being a palindrome. Who is 49ers and who is a Chiefs fan? I wanted the Lions to take it because they were underdogs. I'm a college football fan, not so much NFL, but the playoffs have been fun. 
Um, I'm not a fan of any of them, but I'm. If I had to pick a team, I'd want the Niners to win. Yeah, when my brother was little, my mom would always my mom always brought him with her shopping at Kmart. So when they asked him what his favorite place was, he said Kmart. <laughs> Everyone laughed at him. <laughs> like what? I get to oh, go I, hang out with I my mom. I forgot to use the thingy. Yeah, what? <laughs> you gotta s select a little bit of a bigger spot. <laughs> This is another thing I would do with Chad GPT. Let me try this out. So I've been selling So let's check what ChatGPT has to say. I basically said I've been selling on eBay for a while, but in 2023, I started an LLC that I file as S Corp. That's what we do. Uh, I forgot to update the account for info on eBay with my EIN. What can I do now in 2024? Um, says you should... <laughs> You should take steps to correct this as soon as possible to ensure compliance with tax reporting requirements. Contact eBay customer service. Um, contact a tax law or contact a tax professional. Um, we haven't filed the taxes yet, so that should be don't need to do an amend. So it doesn't really give me any information. We just got to talk to somebody. <laughs> Good answer, Chris. What was my answer? I don't <laughs> Oh, Niners fan. <laughs> ben says, I'm not a big football fan, so I'm not too familiar. I hear the name Taylor Swift all the time. Don't know who he is, but he sounds fast. <laughs> He's a Swifty. He's a Swifty one, huh? I'm all worried about this now. <laughs> Should I be worried, guys? the same color this color oak gray and what, this what is color it? and then my pictures the material is the same but that what are matter. the other options though i mean There's i don't know no... they always have different colors of okay stuff, so. it looks more like that but yeah. some but like what like you think it's that like color? that picture looks more oh. like the color versus the the big one that you i don't want someone to return and be like this is actually Whatever other color, wheat or something. Straw. <laughs> Hakuna Matata. No worries, huh? 
No, I think as long as it's reported before you submit them, I think. Yeah. I, I wonder if, if it's hard for eBay to just retroactively. I'm going to contact their, their customer service and see. <clears throat> Personal information. Maya says, you could just say tan or beige. You could. <laughs> they could say that. I usually don't even say a color. Childhoods I like to because people want the specific color. But if I'm lying, not on purpose. What would you say a seven inch plate is? Like, what would you call that? It's not a dinner plate. Salad. Salad plate. I was fine with it. It was nice to see anyone who isn't Saban win. Sorry to hear he will be announcing for ESPN. I bleed crimson and cream sooner boomers through and through. I don't know anything of what that is. <laughs> Kelly says a salad plate too. Uh, I have those uh, PW dishes. What's PW? Dishes. Kelly says I have those PW dishes. Maybe she meant expletive. Did you mean fiesta wear? <laughs> Um, what are they comping? Should I sell mine? <laughs> I don't know. <clears throat> I listed some the other day. I sold these bowls, which I just feel like this kind of a bowl. Plateware, maybe? Plateware dishes? Like these sold for 30 for three bowls. And then I sold the little creamer mug for like 14 something. But... So I guess it depends on how much you hope for. Maya says, I hate listing red items. People are always asking, is it maroon, burgundy, every single shade? <laughs> Would they be salad and dessert plants? <laughs> yeah, she meant FW. Boo, boomers, let's go, longhorns. <laughs> Reese needs a new collar. He's had that collar for like 10 Why years. Why does he need a new one? <laughs> I need a new pair of shoes. A pair of earrings. <laughs> <laughs> Anyone doing or going to a Galentine's event? My local library is hosting one. I am actually. Cassie's going to a Galentine's. Is it, what is a Galentine's in general? Is that. The thing I'm going through is just like a church thing for ladies. Is that what a Galentine's is? I, I thought Galentine's could just be for anyone. <laughs> Galentine's meaning a holiday observed on the February 13th as a time to celebrate friendships among women, especially among women. <laughs> What's the one that um is like the celebration to basically the opposite of Valentine's if you're like single or whatever. It's like an all girls Valentine event, gals plus Valentine's put together. So what do you do? It's like you're doing like crafts and stuff. No, well they said they're. <clears throat> she said they're doing speed dating. Speed dating. Yeah. I, I don't know anybody that's going. So. so what's your speed dating thing? What's your what's your elevator pitch gonna be? 
I don't know. <laughs> I've never done speed dating. Uh, any of you guys watch that um, the Love on the Spectrum show? I watched it. Kathy didn't watch it, but they did a lot of like speed dating on that. <laughs> Did you know there's a holiday in Japan called White Day? Women give gifts to men give gifts to men who gave them gifts on Valentine's Day. Kathy, you you more people than you thought you did. I'm much more an introvert than you are. People just tire me out. <laughs> Papercraft, you've watched it. There was there's a kid named or a guy named Connor. I guess he's an adult. But he was uh, he was having a speed date, and he asked this one girl, um, uh, "So do you like nature?" And she's like, "Not really. I, I like the city, right?" <laughs> and so <laughs> you have these cards that you're supposed to like say yes or no, and if it, you say yes and they say yes, it's like a match, and they give you like each other's contact information, or whatever. And so he's sitting there, like, saying no, like, right in front of them. <laughs> and the producer's like, Connor, are you are you saying no, like, while you're still sitting down? <laughs> and uh, he's like, was I not supposed to? Oh, no. <laughs> you know, like, oh, crap. Nobody told me. And uh, it was just funny. He was like, no, not into nature. <laughs> I'm like, yeah. So just I've I've thought of speed dating as that. No. Okay. So what's your are you into nature? <laughs> no? Okay. A little. We're done talking. <laughs> We're done talking. Please move on. I ain't got time for this. <laughs> Sounds like a lesbian day. <laughs> I think it's just for the girls at the church to get to know each other. Because I'll ever see any of them. <laughs> you have two autistic kids. Really enjoyed the series. Yeah, I did too. I mean, um, there was I I was literally grinning and smiling the whole he time. Just stop talking about it <laughs> because it's just so it's so pure. But it's just pure, sweet, right? Yeah. Like <laughs> nobody thinks of like anything that anybody says as like being an ulterior motive or anything like that. It's just like. Um, there's this one scene, there's, uh, oh, I can't remember their names, but they're like in Africa, right? Like he takes her, this, they were on the, Abby, Abby, <laughs> I feel like I remember Abby, you made me watch it. And, yeah, uh, I don't remember the guy's name. Um, I think it was David, <laughs> Abby and David. And so he takes her to, to Africa to go see the lions. Cause you know, they both like, it's their favorite animal. And they're, they're laying in these like old school tubs overlooking like the African plains. And she like leans over and says, David, like she's about to say something like, like really like meaningful or substantial, you know, like, thank you for taking me to Africa. It's beautiful. She's like, David, I, I want more collectibles. Do you want any more collectibles? <laughs> I'm like, oh my gosh, that was so like funny. Because like that's what I think <laughs> I think about stuff like that all the time. It was Why just funny. You ask me? Yeah. <sighs> I think we're also like set up to to anticipate with like modern movies and TV shows. We're we're like set up, we're programmed almost nowadays to anticipate um drama or like the worst case scenario in those situations where like look we need to talk um <laughs> i want more collectibles okay <laughs> that's not what i was thinking was gonna happen it was funny <sighs> if you haven't seen it and i think it's on netflix i don't know um it's worth a watch i actually it was nice it was refreshing
They say what we're all just thinking. I love that show. So endearing and innocent. We can all learn communication a bit more directly to each other. How's your listing going? You got good. You done with all the stuff you got? I mean, I think. Well, I have a few more on my phone that I still have. I think I'm at sixteen. Do you I have that many to list? Like I just said, I did. 15 you did. Oh, you did. 15. When I was upstairs, I but I already had that. a few on here. If I do twenty tonight, I have done a hundred this week. Um, what about movie, what about doing movie series nights, but watching something in another language and making it a theme night, like watching a series in Korean, eating Korean food, snacks, and even trying to learn Korean. You want to learn Korean? <laughs> um, not particularly. Kamsamnida. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just trying to get my four-year-old on the spectrum to stop getting naked and <laughs> streaking through the house. Dating is a ways off. <laughs> this is Mandy. I mean, our kids do that too. <laughs> so like trying to get them. Uh, I'm like, you guys can't keep doing this. I'm just finding more to Jeff, not ignoring you. She's ignoring you guys. I'm going to resell it. What's going on, man? Okay. Welcome in. Talking out our talking about our kids streaking. I wonder if they, <laughs> they're probably not listening or watching right now. I unlocked their switches so they have unlimited time tonight cuz they don't have, have school Zelda tomorrow. Because Connor when I was photographing came in. And he was just being really mad because, well, he wasn't saying why, but I was like, it's just because he doesn't have a switch. And then he's like, I don't have any more time on my switch. Today? Yeah, when I was just photographing, they used to come down here. I unlocked his time. I was like, I'm sure daddy will unlock it since we have our live. He's like, well, I don't have a game I want to play. <laughs> That's he what he wants to yeah. play Zelda. We've got like 15 games. He <laughs> wants to play one game. And they both want to play the same game. Yeah, I was gonna say, I think my brothers also did that at that age. <laughs> it's not limited to kids on the spectrum or even four year olds. When my brother was in high school, they'd call it they'd call him the streak. <laughs> was was a popular song and my brother and all his friends did. Nowadays you get slapped with a a, <laughs> a charge. Ben says, How's your son doing with Tears of the Kingdom? They're both they've both surpassed me. They've uh um, they both have been playing it like nonstop and they're like watching YouTube videos on how to do stuff. And so they're like, dad, did you know you do this? I'm like, no, <laughs> I didn't. Hey, Sagan, is that how you say it? Sagan, sorry, I know I mangled the spelling. <laughs> I'm going to resell it. Come on. You are the most boring lister out there. How? Look at all this cool stuff I listed. <laughs> I literally listed such a variety of things. Like, ben says, I wonder, am I the only one in chat that's not a reseller? Lingerie. You just come and hang, hang shoes, out? Shoes, cups, a Christmas stocking. You listed that? I just got it. <laughs> but I, I have another one in a different initial, which is nice. You didn't have my screen on, but I was just copying and pasting my titles because I have this exact thing already listed in like an eye. Oh.
Yeah. yeah. You want to get that box? Uh, well, maybe we don't have time to play that now. It's not a game. We'll just we'll just we'll, we'll do some dad jokes. No. We'll pull out the dad joke box. Did I say I did sixteen? You said it. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. Ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Yeah. Okay. So if I do these four, we're good. Kelly says, I was just thinking how proud I was that you listed so many items that are not shoes. She giggled. All right, should we do some dad jokes? Kathy found this at the bins. Dad joke face off. Um, haven't opened it yet. Gotta have some good dad jokes in here, right? Let's see what years are from. 2018. Kind of up to date, maybe. Uh, what do we have? There we go. I'm getting one. Speaking of jokes, give us a joke. Ben says, my friend is a reseller, and she said she was watching you one time, so I joined, and I enjoy the stream. Ben, that's awesome. I feel like you've said that before. I have the memory of a goldfish. I'm sorry. Ah. All right, we're not playing the game. It's got all these token thingies. Took your this, screen off. Why? Put it back. It's okay. okay. <laughs> so this is just pig. That's just it's just called pig. Yep. It's just a pig. Pig, exploding creeper. The kids said so, that was like a YouTuber though. Well, I just want because it's Google not a basic it. creeper. Creepers are supposed to be green. When I Google into it, that's what they were all saying. Oh. And then what is this little box? That's a workbench. Workbench? <sighs> I can't type. <laughs> <laughs> and everybody sees. Not Minecraft workbench. Uh, crafting table. That's what he said it was. Oh, crafting table. Honor. You're right. <laughs> He's right. Would you, I mean, are these considered mini pigs? <laughs> Even... I don't know. I mean, like the, the pig and the creeper maybe, but not the workbench. Why not? Uh, I mean, it, it can't hurt as a keyword, right? All right, speaking of jokes, give us a joke. <clears throat> this is the very first thing I've seen. Maybe this will set the, uh, the tone for what this game is going to give us. What did the small crustacean wear to the fancy party? A shrimp cocktail dress. Uh. Uh. Why was the movie so sticky? Because it was taped.
And where did Batman go to relieve himself? The bat room. <laughs> that was kind of funny. <laughs> he went to the bat room. The bat room. <laughs> All right, that's the winner of that card. <laughs> That's like a joke my dad would have said when I was a kid. Oh, flipping value says my daughter took her dad's job to school with her. She loves it. My dad's jobs. Oh, dad's jokes. Yeah, the kid. <laughs> Our kids always. Sai will come home with some funny jokes. Sai's a little jokester. Kathy, I'm surprised how many shoes you get at the bins. Finding both is a pain. Are you. Are most of the shoes you list from the bins or from trade-ins at Plato's? Mostly from the bins. Lately, Lately yeah. yeah. Let's see. Yeah, all those are bin, bins. I haven't, I mean, I haven't found that many shoes, I guess. Yeah, bins. I, I haven't really been trading because I've been wanting to get keep my cash for my, my furniture fund. Mm -hmm. um, I did go to a normal Goodwill the other day and got like, eight or nine pairs I think and then on this Friday or so I don't know this last weekend Play-Doh's had 90% <laughs> off so I got like maybe 10 pairs at around five dollars per pair so yeah a lot of these ones were from Play-Doh's but also been so I have been finding some good shoes at the bin <gasps> did I make a seal oh no came Erica's here what's going on random garage hello how's what not what up friends and he says, these are some boring dads. <laughs> <laughs> ben says, I tell a lot of dad jokes at work. I like telling jokes, but my normal jokes would get me sent to the HR. <laughs> I wish I could do better listing shoes. I don't know why, but there's just something about you shoes that I can't get into. Can't get into them. I'm the same way. I will sell used shoes, but I just, I don't like to wear used shoes. Unless it's like a dress shoe. Like I, I, if I can get a nice dress shoe that I wear like once every one, once every once in a while, I mean, I'll pick them up from the store, and if they aren't super clean, I just put off cleaning and listing them. Yeah. Christian, I was so happy when our bins started putting shoes pairs on racks. You don't like that, huh? When they pick them out and put um, them on a rack. At like they did that. In, oh, at the in, bins. No, because like I feel like then everyone they can get through. the good ones easily. Yeah. Kathy likes to dig. I do. All right, here's another card of jokes. What did the cat ask for at the hair salon? A perm. Uh -huh. I can't roll my R. Per perm. A perm. All right. Uh, that was a lame. What? Why was no one surprised when the sneaker won the race? Easy. It was a shoe in. <laughs> Why was the pencil so sad? It felt dull and pointless. <laughs> <laughs> Erica says, I'm getting slowly back into it, trying to figure it out. It's like a Rubik's Cube for me to figure out whatnot. I can solve a Rubik's Cube. I don't think I can solve whatnot, though. <laughs> they say that if you have a disagreement with someone, you should walk a mile in their shoes. And then you're a mile away and you have the and you have their shoes. That sounds like a <laughs> sounds like a Norm McDonald joke. Uh, at my local bins, they rubber band them together. If they're store pulls, if they're raw donations, they usually all mixed up together. I feel like that's what ours are. Huh? They band them together sometimes. What would you call like this? I would call that a Nike swoosh. Like, it's almost like a towel. An applique. What'd you guys call that? Applique? Towel? Patch? <laughs> I'm not gonna call it towel. Oh, Mitch Hedberg. Yeah, that's that's who that was. <laughs> so I'll reread that. They say that if you have a disagreement with someone, you should walk a mile in their shoes. Then you're a mile away and you have their shoes. <laughs> Is that better? <laughs> uh why didn't the mom let her kids watch the movie Mud? Because it was too dirty. 
How did the... We're having dad jokes about pencils, apparently. How did the pencil thank the waitress? It gave her a tip. And how did the face get engaged? <laughs> With a nose ring. These are some pretty lame jokes. I kind of regret opening this. What's a dog's favorite part of the house? The roof, roof, roof. Uh, what's a pig's favorite part of the house? The mud room. I really thought these were going to be a lot better, guys. <laughs> what's the coldest tree in the, fir in the forest? The birch. All right, let's get into this deck a little bit. Maybe just drawing off the top isn't working. Send in your best dad jokes. Why couldn't the bike stand up all by itself? Because it was too tired. <laughs> Erica's like, these are so bad, I'm unsubscribing. <laughs> I don't blame you. She's like, ah, I'm out. <sighs> what is the most environmentally friendly fuel? Grassoline. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Yeah, I'm not even gonna read. <laughs> Maybe I just need to pick out the good ones or what I think is good ones. Um. I used to work at a trampoline factory. It had its ups and downs. Why was the football stadium so cold? It was full of fans. Fans. <laughs> All right, let me check this other deck. Does this got better stuff? What was the RS like the the comps on this game? I don't think it was very much. <laughs> I see why. What's a basketball player's favorite way to watch movies? Netflix. What is the brand of that game? That's it right there. Hey, that's a pretty, that's a pretty good comp. If that Playroom? was it. Twenty-eight bucks. I'll reach it. Hold that one's five dollars. That's, that's way too much. For Can me. we shrink wrap it again? <laughs> <laughs> You're hundred percent sure you've told that one here before. <laughs> I was hanging out and procrastinating on my photos, but then the dad joke started. <laughs> Gonna go do photos now. Have a nice night, everyone. Gretchen's out. She's out. Gretchen, have a great night. Have some more fun photographing your photos <laughs> than listening to these. I, I don't, are these dad jokes or just like horrible puns? What are the saddest birds? Bluebirds. Oh, I, I, Connor told me one. I'll, I'll say this one. <sighs> I need to make sure I got it right because I could, I could mess this one up. Why can't you hear a pterodactyl go to the bathroom? Because the P is silent. My nine-year-old's got better dad jokes than me. I didn't hear that one. Yeah. <laughs> I'm putting those away. I'm going to the internet for dad jokes. <laughs> uh, 
Ben says, at work, the maintenance guy was walking around with a couple exhaust fans. I asked him if he was famous because he has a bunch of fans. Got a chuckle. <laughs> Almost told the pterodactyl. <laughs> Kelly says, I got to head out to make like a tree and leaf. Night, night. Night. Make like a baby and head out of this mother. <laughs> Uh, might have missed this, but what were Kathy's best finds today at the Benz? Uh, I don't think I found anything amazing. You found me some weenie roasters. Okay. Those like camping <laughs> marshmallow sticks. <laughs> I did find Freebirds, but they, um, what's it called? They're the heels? Yeah. I can make the screen bigger. I mean, I was gonna I like hold it up. Is that working? Yeah, let me just um do that. It's on. Yeah. Oh. It's probably not gonna show very good, but go hold it down more. <laughs> so f some nice calf high. Free birds. But like the heels look like this. <laughs> Can you see that? Can you zoom in more on your phone? Yeah, like that. But I still eh, it's hard to see, but basically there. I saw a comp for these for like $170, but that's like a nice pair. So I don't know. If I could get 50 bucks, I'd probably be happy. Uh, I don't know what else I got. Oh, I got a diploma. <laughs> Chris has said ever since I um, graduated, he was going to build me a diploma frame, and he hasn't. And this just happens to be for UCCS. Although Which left, is her alma mater. I left the frame and just took out the like parts. Because the frame was all scratched up anyways. And I didn't like it. It wasn't like real wood or anything. So that was cool to me. I did find a Prada loafer, but only one. So I did not get that. Otherwise, Rach says, I saw them on Insta Instagram. Very nice boots. They can always fix the heel. <laughs> Flip and Value has a question. Did you Do you check sell-through rate while at the bins? What do you think of the sell-through rate? What do you think of the sell-through rate? Um, I you kind of do if you're in between. about it if I'm getting stuff from the bins. Yeah, bins nuts. I mean, if it's something new, like something you're interested in, you'll look up and yeah. see. Uh, yeah, I'll take note. If I'm looking anything up, my mind just already, like, calculates sell-through rate when I'm looking it up. But I would still probably buy it if it was low, if it was from the bins. I do think sell-through rate's important, but my business model is just list a bunch of stuff. <laughs> what? Is that a bad thing? I was yawning, so I didn't mean to laugh. Mm -hmm. I wasn't laughing either. <clears throat> Jens asks, any YouTube goals for this year, y'all? Like 50,000 subs mm -hmm. or more sponsors? More? We need one. We've never had a sponsor <laughs> We've before. never had a sponsor. We've never accepted any anyways. <laughs> yeah, that's true. We have, we've had many offers, but I, I don't know. I have a hard time um, with getting paid to say something about a product. Even if we like it, you know, it's for me, it's just hard to, to, can you really take somebody at their word if, if they're being paid to say something, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like we promote list perfectly and, and posture V and stuff, but we, we're not paid to say any of that. Yeah. We get like an affiliate link, but we actually use the stuff. I'm not on your screen right now. Is that, oh. should I be? Yeah. Just list these last four. Um, uh, what about love or Valentine's Day jokes? Oh, YouTube goals. Um, I mean, yeah, obviously we'd like to grow the channel, but, uh, this year, this, well, 2023, we were, I was really thinking about it. Like we've been basically trying to get the house since, well, like to, to buy a house, this house that started in 
May, where we were like looking at houses and stuff. Maybe even April, trying to get a realtor and stuff. Um, all our car got, you just reminded me that April is when our car got broke into and that car got broke month. into. Yeah, that was. <laughs> I do feel like that was around the same time that we were trying to start house hunting, which is stressful because like we were trying to like pay for all this stuff I had to rebuy, like my laptop and yeah, things, while waiting for insurance. YouTube goals. I mean, this is not a YouTube. My goal is just to learn how to make any sort of short form. Get content. into short form yeah. content. That's a goal. Fifty thousand subs would be cool. Right now, I'll take thirty. Yeah. <laughs> I was reading something. I've been um, listening to some audiobooks and stuff. Like, I mean, yeah, fifty thousand subs is like a goal, but it's not like a like it's better to set goals that you are in charge of whether or not it happens. Like, we can't really help if we don't get fifty thousand subs. So it's that's like a a goal that can be demoralizing if you don't reach or whatever you know. But what we can do is like we could say, well, you know, we want to do X amount of videos a week or um, get into short form content. Those those like goals that we can actually we're in charge of. And if we don't do them, it's because we are the problem. <laughs> um, but yeah, um, I mean, I've got a lot of of things I'd like to do. Uh, different types of videos want to get into like I'd like to have the schoolie drivable <laughs> um, usable and a lot of that's going to be done through videos and, and YouTube and stuff um, so that's that's a goal of mine uh, I do need to set some actual like intermediate goals so I can't just be like oh I want to have the schoolie done <laughs> um but maybe like have like be able to take it at least on one trip this year would be nice. Um, should be manageable. Like that's pushing it. <laughs> that's pushing it. Well, it's a goal. This I mean, year's it, already like two months. Yeah, yeah, that is true. But, I mean, realistically, next month, I should be working on it, right? So. Yeah. Um. I don't know. You have any? You have any goals mm. that you want to discuss? <laughs> Jen says maybe a collab with Ship and Hip, Shipping Hip, like a really like where we do an artwork or something. Oh, is that what you mean by a collab? <laughs> We're not artists though. Although I do want to have, I would like to have some kind of merch. <laughs> um, but I don't. I I've been so. I'm like super picky on that kind of stuff. Like I don't want to have like just the same kind of merch that everybody has. I also don't want to have something that's like. I just don't. Uh, I mean, as resellers, like, do we really want to sell stuff just to have more stuff? I don't know. Like it <laughs> right. needs to have a purpose. Right. Or that's. I want something that, if you didn't know, who Ginger Marvin is. Because most people aren't going to care who Ginger Marvin... Like, if you're wearing a shirt or something, I'd like the shirt to be a cool piece. That's just from Ginger... Mar you know, like a... But I don't know what that would be. <laughs> um. So, yeah, I don't know. We're weird. Like, I don't want to have things that are, like, thrifting... Super thrifting related or, or reseller related. If it's a merch thing. <clears throat> or it's super Ginger Marvin related. <laughs> Do you under you understand what I'm saying, right? Yeah. Like, if it's a merch piece and somebody's like, oh, that's a cool shirt. Like that'd be cool, but I, I don't want it to be like them to be like, what's what's Ginger Marvin? <laughs> Cause that's that's weird.
Sorry, I don't know how to say or read any of this. Um, and I can't see a way to, let me try to translate it. <laughs> Maybe a collab with Ship and Hip. Let's see, how can I translate that? I don't see an easy way to translate. Sorry, I don't know what to say. Uh, yes, like give them ideas and then they make a special Ginger Marvin poly mailer. I'm 0% creative, <laughs> which is why I don't know how to do short. Like merch that resellers can use, like poly mailers, stickers, measure tapes, resealable bags, reusable bags, etc. Tessa, what's going on? Welcome in. Yeah, I mean, I've got a lot of ideas. Like, I like to be creative in ways, but uh, I'm just, I'm not good at making things, like, art-wise. Art <laughs> so, it's not like I could draw, like, a, a design or write a design. <clears throat> So it's just, it would have to be like super thought out and worked with somebody else. And we just haven't really been in a place to do that lately. But I, I mean, yeah, I'd be, I'd like to, I'd like to be in that place. But yeah, I think, Done. I think our biggest goals are getting into short form. Um, so I'm going to go to just our cameras if. Well, I mean, oh. are you, uh, uh, it's almost time to go. No, well, I guess well, it is. I mean, it's nine o'clock already. Our kids don't have school, though. We could run a little later. <clears throat> I was saying I could cross post to Mercari. That's the only other thing I <coughs> wanted to do. Like, I've, I've thought about, you know, like, everybody's got like, their little, um, Plush. I thought, what would a Ginger Marvin plush be? But that's also pointless. I know, it is pointless. <laughs> that's the thing. I mean, it, pointless being just... Yeah, I don't know. Just There's other ways to support. <laughs> to support us. Right. If you wanted to support us, that's not just creating waste or whatever. Um, or just stuff. <clears throat> we could sell NFTs, <laughs> which is basically just internet waste. I don't know. <laughs> um, I keep playing with this thing. I wish to show you this. I'm going to put you on the, I'm going to put the big screen up real quick, but just got this cool little device. This measures like the inside of a shoe. So like the heel, the shoe heel goes here. <laughs> and you can like, you can like extend it in and then it gives you the readout right here. Is that a shoe? Nope. No? <laughs> I like this shoe. Yeah, you're gonna list it for your school leaf. So it kind of like sits inside there and then you can measure that this i feel like this shoe is too big for this <laughs> uh it's over 320 you guys, millimeters link in the description <laughs> link in description actually it looks like it's right at 320 so 32 centimeters <laughs> and then you can convert it so what is this cole Haan. so what's 32 uh, centimeter Hold on, juice. Bring it up yourself. I'm gonna. 
Erica says, I believe in you guys. I'll take 10 reseller NFTs, please. <laughs> Uh, maybe a re reusable coffee cup since y'all like coffee just have y'all logo. We don't even have a logo though. That's the thing like we've never really made a logo Yeah, we're literally the worst YouTubers. <laughs> we're not we're not good youtubers So is EU oh, here's centimeters so men's I want men's Men's shoes So is Japan just centimeters? So 32, that would be a 14 and a half. No, they're not that big. <laughs> I don't think that thing works very good. It works perfectly. <laughs> How do you know what size Amazing. this is? That's 13. Well, I don't know if Japan measurement is centimeters. Does it tell you both men's and women? It just tells centimeter or millimeters. So it doesn't, you have to do the conversion yourself. I guess I could do that way too. My gosh, so cool. I need one. I have a couple pairs that I have no size label that I've left in my death pile. Yeah, it doesn't say sizes, just just you have to do the conversion. But if you've ever tried to stick like a tape measure in the bottom of a shoe, at least it's easier than that. <laughs> if so, we want the link. Yeah, I don't know if I, if I haven't put the link in our videos. Let me find a link real quick. There's a link. It's called a shoe measurer foot gauge. Looks like it's 11 bucks. It did take a while to get here. Make it like a Stanley. Ooh, more like a Ginger Marvin Stanley. <laughs> I'm still mad that we didn't sign up for eBay open so that we got a free a gen eBay. Yeah, an eBay, eBay Stanley. Stanley. <laughs> I'm so mad. Wait, you guys do YouTube? <laughs> yeah. uh, Mama with the camera, what's going on? Lori, welcome in. Chris, Kathy, chat friends. Do y'all ever plan on having a meet and greet, hopefully here in Texas? I mean... <laughs> I, I would, if we were like on the schoolie, like I'd be down for like, you know, meeting in, in a couple places if we're out and about. Like at the thrift store or the bin? Yeah, yeah. I'm or, nervous. Maybe. Gotta build character for Kathy. Do like a Ginger Marvin tour. I want one that gives both men and women sizes. I hate trying to figure out if a shoe is men's or women's when it could be both. Yeah, I don't know. Because that... How does that work? <laughs> like you're saying if it measures... So you get a measurement, but if it says like a 9 on the size. So... Like the thing would say, if this is a 9, then it's men's. If it's 8, it's women's. Manny says, Kathy, you're way more outgoing than me. I know. She's got 
She's literally going on a a play date with a friend. So outgoing. Tomorrow. Y'all made me with a with a kid's friend. <laughs> tomorrow? Why do you keep saying tomorrow? Oh, Saturday. I keep thinking it's like Friday. Next week. <laughs> like a whole week. That's from true. Now. Yeah. I don't know why, babe. I haven't even wrote her back yet. <laughs> I am. It takes not me like smart. two days to respond to one little text message. It's not on my calendar. I don't. I don't have to. <laughs> you wouldn't even know if it was. <laughs> Then it's time to get working on that schoolie, Chris. It really is. It really is. I'm I'm about, like, once I'm done with the deck, I'm able to move all the tools over. And that's one of the last big things that we got to do with the house is moving all my tools out of the garage. So, like yesterday, I spent a lot of time cleaning and organizing our garage here so that I could receive all the tools. <clears throat> and we got uh, a trailer back from my dad who's had it for a while. And so we're getting there pretty much some hiking type shoes. Just say seven is the M is that an M or what? Just want to stick that measure in. So it tells me the problem there is I feel like even shoes between brands, like the measurement, like a men's nine is not always a, as straightforward as a men's nine, right? So you'd have to probably have one for each brand. Maybe that's what we can come out with, like a, a series of these that are like brand specific. <laughs> and you got to buy like the pack, <laughs> like 30 brands. You got to buy 30 different ones. Or maybe they're just like standardized, like some of them are the same. M or W L O. <laughs> oh. <laughs> M or what? <clears throat> that was like auto complete. <clears throat> yeah, so let me see. Kohan men's size chart. So if I had to convert, what is 360 millimeter to inches? Uh, fourteen point seventeen inches. So about fourteen inches. It's Kohan's men's size chart. What is fourteen inches to men's shoe size? Cole Han. Here's Cole Han with centimeters though. So let me do that. 32. That can't be right. <laughs> That's saying it would be a men's 16. What size did you say this was? 13. 13? Where do you see 13? It's on the side. Oh. Men's 13M. <laughs> so this should be 300. I feel like I was bending it up in there, so it's about 310, which would be a size 14 according to this. So I don't know how accurate this is. <laughs> don't buy it, guys. Definitely have a food tour as well. Went on the schoolie, gotta try local cuisine. That is true. I do like food. <laughs> I would like some popcorn right now. Popcorn? Sounds good. Popcorn. Anything but popcorn. 
Yeah, that drives me crazy too. I have a pair of Vessi sneakers that's missing the insole in size. I thought I could measure, but I don't know if it's men's or women's. <laughs> Why did the Scarecrow win an award? Because he was outstanding in his field. <laughs> uh, what do you call an illegally parked frog? Toad. <laughs> mm. Here's a here's a nerdy one. Why do astronauts use Linux? Because they can't open windows in space. Lori says, one of my sons just made popcorn. It smells so good. Mm, I think we I have some down here. We have that microwave no, right there. I don't there. want... No, I need my... Oh, pff. no. Non-popped popcorn. Non-popped pop, <laughs> popcorn. <clears throat> Tommy says, I just had chicken Alfredo noodles and veggies. I'm bloated now, but it was dang good. Oh, we got some. Yes. We actually have some... I made some Cajun chicken pasta last night. We got some leftovers enough for both of us to have some for a midnight meal. <laughs> I'm gonna go get popcorn while that opens up. Can you give me a Diet Coke? She's opening some Mercari cross posts. Liz perfectly doing its thing. To the guy who invented zero. Thanks for nothing. Geology rocks, but geography is where it's at. <laughs> that one was funny. <laughs> Popcorn is delicious if you add fresh caramel on top. All right, caramel or caramel? How do you guys pronounce it? Cajun, mm, I'll be over shortly. Yeah, we didn't even have any Cajun seasoning. I had to make some. That turned out all right, right? The Cajun seasoning I made. I like any food you make, mostly. Yeah? <laughs> I said mostly. Mostly? <laughs> yeah. Ooh, oh, Reese okay. sees the popcorn. <laughs> Mr. C Travels! Thanks for subscribing. All right. Caramel. That's a different pronunciation. How do you pronounce it? Caramel? 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 Caramel macchiato. Caramel. Caramel. I think Colorado is caramel. That's how it's pronounced here. Like caramel popcorn balls. Haven't had those in years. Is licking his chops. <sighs> Let's see. Trying to find some good ones, some good dad jokes. I just got thrown out of my local park for arranging the squirrels by height. They didn't like my critter sizing. <laughs> Where's Junk Monkey? I feel like he would have liked that one. <laughs>
He says, like caramel popcorn balls. Haven't seen those in years. If I'm feeling hoity-toity, then it's caramel. This one. Why are meteors so clean? They're always in a shower. That reminds me of... Uh, do you remember that the guy Rael from like the 90s or whatever? I saw there was going to be like a documentary on him. You guys remember Rael? Spell that. R A E L, the alien prophet. Oh, is it already out? Who? <laughs> Rael. So it was a, I remember it was a dude in the news back in 90s. He basically was claiming that he was from a different planet or whatever. I don't know why he got super popular, but. This was about, I think it was about the time that uh, that Hailbot comment thing was going on. Um, featuring interviewers, interviews from with his followers, critics, and Rael himself. This docu-series traces how a UFO-inspired religion spiraled into a controversial cult. Try to find his Wikipedia page. No idea who that is. <clears throat> He's a French journalist. I'm trying to remember why he was why I know who he is <laughs> oh that's what it was it was about cloning this was when um Um, cloning was starting in that, that sheep. What was the sheep's name? Dolly. Dolly, yeah. You know. You know who Rael is, right? No, I don't. <laughs> but I um, feel like I had to do a project. I feel like he, he got on the news because he was claiming that he had cloned human. He was the, he claimed to be the first person to clone a human or something like that. Um... And it was because he was given the information from Alien. I don't know. But uh, 2007. Apparently it was a, the, the cult was cloning humans. So in 2003... CNN has a article where he was defending cloning a baby. He claimed he was visited by aliens and could clone humans. 
only believe I'm alien in aliens when it's an in a sci-fi movie in RL they're just crazy people I was, I mean, I, I had forgotten that this guy even existed. And then I saw a YouTube or a, a, I guess a Netflix post about him. And I was like, hmm, maybe I should check that out. And it, uh, maybe I shouldn't because nobody else in the world has heard of him. It's only got 6.3 stars out of 10. <coughs> It's only four episodes, though. <laughs> Do you like cult stuff? Like mm. Watching documentaries on cults? Oh, Apparently he had been around in the 70s talking about this stuff. I guess the dude's consistent. How is he not dead yet? I don't know. He's he's in his 70s now. So nobody's seen it, huh? No no recommendations. <laughs> Are you talking about the cult where they all killed themselves thinking they would ride on the comet? Well, that was the the Hale, Haley's comet or whatever. Um, this was different, but I I guess I didn't remember that when I was talking about it. I thought it was around the same time. So when was that? Comet. Haley's comet. Was it Haley's comment or Halebot comment? Halebot comment was ninety-seven. was the Halebot. Heaven's Gate cult committed mass suicide in 97. When the intention of teleporting to a spaceship... Man. That's crazy. So I was thinking it was about the same... It's about five years after. After what? That the guy who said he learn how to clone babies from Halebot. So I was I was uh yeah, I think I was accidentally relating the two cuz it was aliens or whatever. <sighs> the sad cults are the ones where the people are where there are that are willing to self drink poison thinking they'll go on the next life together. Yeah, the only one I know about is the Hail Bop Comet. Yeah, the Heaven's Gate. So how many people was that? <laughs> 39. 21 women, 18 men between the ages of 26 and 72. Wow. Like, I'm trying to think, that was in 
97 how do you get that message out before the internet <laughs> like how did those things grow it's just like growing a cult oh how many people in it well 39 but if the internet did exist it'd probably be a lot more yeah but how do you in such a small i'm assuming geographical area santa fe how do you get 39 people that you can get on board I, it's just bizarre to me <laughs> what the heck is wrong with people <laughs> says mimi <laughs> yeah i watched some documentaries about the cult but the ones came out before netflix i think they traveled around the country right did they i mean i'm just kind of skimming the Wikipedia page, you know, like a good researcher. Can keep going or uh, we, we could probably call it. it's 9 30. We're gonna start talking about aliens and I cults now. <laughs> I don't know what we're doing for date night tomorrow, but <laughs> want to watch Rael <laughs> documentary? <laughs> uh, I did 23. I gotta do two more. I can't, okay, I can't not do like a normal movie. It's like Reese's camera died, oh, don't oh. matter. He's begging for popcorn anyway. <laughs> I guess we're going two more. We're going two more. But I'm skimming this this Heaven's Gate Wikipedia page, mm -hmm. and it says Nike decades. So it says the infamy caused by the mass. Um, I'm I'm afraid of saying that word too much. I don't want <laughs> I don't want YouTube getting mad at us. But limited availability and their sudden and unceremonious discontinuation has been cited as reasons for the high resale value of Nike decades. So the, do you know what these are? Look them up. Nike decades, D-E-C-A-D-E-S. -E they look great. Oh, sorry, I mean, these are not sideways. Oh. Heaven's Gate, you said? Yeah. They almost look like the new, like, waffle ones. So I, I searched them. Nike Decades Heaven's Gate. Solds. Is that what you're looking at? No, I said they don't look almost like these newer ones that... Yeah. 250 bucks, 69 bucks, 250. What, so why are they special? Because he wore them? Um, I'm not sure. It just says... Let me see what it's referencing. Oh, sheesh. So I clicked on this link and it's, sh it's showing, I'm not going to show this, but it's showing apparently the, the members that had off to themselves were all wearing these Nike gates. And so it's like in a bunch of pictures and stuff or decades, Nike decades. It's like in the pictures of, of them finding them all. So Shen Valley mama says good night. <laughs> <laughs> Gingers after dark. Aliens. Mm -hmm. 
Evening all lurking and shipping. <laughs> you came at the wrong time, Becky. We're talking <laughs> cults, aliens. The weird. It, did you say it's Becky Vintage Becky? Becky? Yeah, yeah. Been... Any, you know, any good date night places? Yeah, Becky. <laughs> Becky where should where should Kathy and I go on a date tomorrow? Where should I take Kathy? Yeah, I think the Heaven's Gates guy was traveling around the country preaching on the street. Mimi says, I finally got home, ready for bed. I found some great stuff at the Benz again. Some... What was the coolest thing you found, Mimi, before you go to bed? Mm. Those are pretty old now as far as shoes go. I, I guess it was part of their their uh, uniform. Are you going to Peaches and to Beaches in March? Flippin' Value's gotta go. Good night, Flippin' Value. Right. Peaches and Beaches never gone before. That sounds fun. Peaches and Beaches. Becky says dinner or something to do. Both, huh? Maybe both at the same time. Like you know of any restaurants with like, I don't know, entertainment? <laughs> Mimi found two vintage coach purses. Nice. Awesome. I don't know. I don't know styles of dresses, but it makes you pick one. Uh, oh, Peaches and Beaches is a garage sale route that happens. I know what it is. You know what it is? I watch Kayla's videos. Oh. A homeschooling picker? Yeah. Oh. Well, I didn't know what it was. Thanks for thanks for letting me know. One day when we have the schoolie meeting. Erica. That'd be cool. Schoolie peaches and beaches. Do you have any places you could do pottery at? Some places have the dishes already made. We actually, that was the, the last thing we did right before shutdowns in 2020. We took the kids to the mall and we did like a, like a pottery that we let them pot, you know, glaze or whatever. What's that place called? I think it's not there anymore. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think it shut down. I think it just closed, but I don't remember. From Georgia to Florida. Lori says, show us the dress. Did you already yes. pick, did you already pick one? Dress? So she, the dress, you didn't know what the, the style was. Oh, it's this. <laughs> I mean, I just picked it. I know it's not a Tunic? player. I just don't know. Her card makes you pick one of these. And there's not an other option on Tunic. Dresses. Is that a tunic dress? What do you think, Lori? <laughs> is tunic an option? It is. I don't think that. that's a tunic dress. I used to play a game called Ultima Online, and there was a shirt that was called a tunic, and it looked just like that. <laughs> So I'm going with tunic dress. All right, I'm gonna put this on. <laughs> All right, 25 crossbows with 20 this. Becky says we like yakitori. Have you been there? Is that the one downtown, the hibachi? I don't know if I've been there. I've been there. Haven't done hibachi in a while. I feel like every time we've ever done hibachi. Where they like do the whole show. It's all, it's never been as good as the stuff I've seen I on TV. <laughs> Maybe you should lower your expectations. <laughs> never. <laughs> oh no, I'm thinking of Fujiyama. I don't think we've ever been to yet. House of Yakitori? <laughs> Have we been there? I want to see the outside and it's a dude with a <laughs> selfie. <clears throat> Do you 
you like the melting pot? Do you have one near you? I do. I don't want to spend 150 bucks on yeah. it unless it's like our anniversary. I do love the melting pot. It's my favorite restaurant for Valentine's anniversary, Melting Pot. We have a cool one here too. It's called Mona Lisa. It's uh, it's not as mainstream. It's like an old, old downtown house that was converted. Looks like a tunic top, says Tommy. Shirt's a dress. If so, it's a mini. Yeah, I would say it's a mini, but they don't even give that option. They have a special menu for Valentine's. Becky says, the theater that serves dinner on Fillmore, Nevada. Roadhouse. Roadhouse. We were talking about that, but there's just no movies that we're, like, excited to see. <laughs> I saw that uh, the Philharmonic has... Kathy's not interested in this, but I think it'd be fun. The The... Princess Bride, um, where they play the music live. So they got like a live orchestra doing the music to the movie. <clears throat> Mimi's going to rent a trailer. <laughs> nice. Becky says, we usually went to mini golf, bowling, or the movies. I like all of those. <laughs> Want to go paintballing? I'm just kidding. I, I don't want to go laser questing. <laughs> laser questing. It's not fun anymore. Actually, yeah, laser quest really frustrates me. Yeah. Yeah. Because you don't win. I just hate when like <laughs> you can't shoot when your like thing is done, and then someone shoots you as soon as it gets live again. Yeah, get to an academy near American Classic. Was that Constitution? The House of Yakitori 2. We went to that Ma Musashi one that's over there. That was a hibachi one. Oop, that's a video. I mean, the, the pictures of this food looks good. Right, listed $722, basically. $722? Yep. I'm down for some yakitori. Thanks for the suggestion. <laughs> Was it collared? Shirt dress, maybe? It's listed. <laughs> Is my screen off? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Anywhere that makes the food and cleans up is a great night for me. <laughs> yeah. Let's see. Brother Luck doing? Has he got any new restaurants? <laughs> Shop at the antique mall, then dinner. Chris would love that. <laughs> Trying to see if there's any new. restaurants have we been to that one this cuban Aralita. is that one cuban restaurant we went to that one time is that open still i feel like there was a shooting at it oh no that shut down <laughs> it got there shut down it. right after we got there was a shooting and then there was another incident wow. um what was i about to say that you love me? Oh, did you ever delete that kitten thing? Yeah. yeah Reese trying to get his bed comfy. <laughs> his camera's dead, but you can see him in Kathy's camera. K 
King Restaurant Indian. Punjabi Junction. I do like some Indian food. I like all food. I just like going somewhere more like that we would not make at home. Like make Indian food. Very I'll good. make everything at home. I know, but it doesn't taste that good. I know it either. does. It doesn't. Hibachery? <laughs> what is that place? Becky says, we don't do date nights. <laughs> it's our 30th this July. Wow, congrats. Date nights. Well, it seems like we're just going to go to Goodwill and make a video. <laughs> <laughs> you don't want to go to American Classic? And make a video. No. Did you get rid of your booth there, Becky? Or did you have one there? Mimi's asking Becky if if 30th this July is that your decision? How many years are you on, Mimi? <laughs> oh, maybe that's. One closed mom's booth. Oh, you have one. You closed your mom's booth. Gotcha. Go check out Becky's booth. I think oh. I've only been there not to her booth, but that place one time. Yeah, we won't. Yeah, it's been a long time though. to complain to get a date night my husband is a workaholic Wednesday will be 26 years that was Mimi yeah what is this this is our April will be 16 16 years April <laughs> it does not feel like feel it. like it we should I have know, been married we for were just at not my college dorm just hanging out <laughs> Ugh. Time flies. Yep. <laughs> Our kids are getting old. I know. How do we have a kid that's almost 10 years old? <sighs> Reese's getting old. Reese's almost half. Oh, oh it's Reese. <laughs> yeah, I know. Oh, <laughs> oh gosh. All right, labels are printed. He's ready to eat his dinner. <laughs> Becky says, date nights? Kids are grown. We do whatever we want. <laughs> not sure if you plan anything for Wednesday, but if not, I'm going back to the bins. <laughs> so this Wednesday, this Wednesday is going to be 26 years. I guess I read right over that. I'm sorry. Well, congrats on 26 years. You need me to like sneak him a message? And be like, hey man, what's his name? Randy? I think it is. <laughs> Randy, um, take Mimi out. She's been thrifting like crazy. What's your favorite food? I'll, I'll whisper something in his ear. Becky says they need to go to the bins again. Oh, it's been a lot of clothes, huh? Kathy was saying. Oh, yeah, it was... today I went and they swapped the hard goods to the side that the clothes normally is, and then they have all the clothes on the other side, and it's like so much, <laughs> which is fine because I like looking through clothes too. But like to get to the hard goods, the lines are so close, like I can't even like walk up and down with my whole kid really. So it was kind of annoying today, but 
So just be perfect prepared for that, I guess. Someone said that it's been like that at least for a few days. Mm. That they don't have a lot of hard goods right now. <laughs> she says, <Wow>. ugh. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of linen. Do you like linens? I got like 14 pillows. <laughs> she likes glass. Yeah. You still only doing glass? I uh. feel like there was a lot of glass. I mean, I... I, I mean, you found that Fiesta wear. Starbucks cups. Oh, yeah. Do, do you do you I sell Fiesta wear, Becky? A lot of Fiesta wear and some lay whatever this is. Le Creuset. Le Creuset. A couple pieces. Not not a huge, oh, not the Dutch pieces. ovens, but I'm oh. saying you. You found a couple Le yeah, Creuset. Yeah, a picture but... in a bowl. He says, I found a lot of shoes. Becky says, I'm going to a glass show in Houston on Monday. Go look at my booth. So do you take your stuff with you? Like if you are going, are you going to sell in Houston? In that case, do you pack up your whole booth or do you just have like a, a rotation kind of thing that you do? I feel like we should know this. <laughs> Packing up a booth would probably be hard. I know. So much glass. A glass booth. Oh, you have shoe. She has shoe inventory. At the booth. <clears throat> booth is the last stop for the items. She's got a booth here in Colorado Springs at the, it's called American Classics. Used to be an old furniture store. Yeah. When I was a kid. I only know that because one of my parents' friends was a furniture salesman there. <laughs> uh-huh. I don't remember what kind of, what the store name was called. It might have been an American furniture warehouse. Maybe not. I'm not that old. I don't remember. <laughs> B29. Is that what it was called? Furniture? The B29? Oh, your boot. Oh, no. B29. That's your booth number. Huh? Yeah. Yeah, I was. That makes more sense as I read that now. They highlighted it on their Instagram last week. I was like, what? I've never heard of a furniture store called B29. <laughs> uh, ben says, I wonder, are there more men or women resellers? I'm looking to get some dates. And if it's more women, I should head to some bins. <laughs> What do you like the bins? Oh, at the bins. More men or women? At the bins. They probably, uh, honestly, Ben, the the most of the people you probably not anybody you want to pick up. (laughs) I don't know. I I think it's pretty even split. I was about to say at the bins. I feel like there's more men, but I've been seeing a lot of ladies lately. Yeah. Don't date from the bins. There's a lot of nice yeah. people there. <laughs> no, that's true. Yeah. I'm just joking around. Erica says, I feel like more men resell. Such a good, like, stay at home mom type job, though. I think it's good for anyone. Yeah. It's like for anyone, anywhere. I see more men doing it like on a full time. Yeah. But women just I think a hobby. I think more men especially from a social media or at least like a YouTube point of view. Maybe. More men just want to brag about their stuff. <laughs> when I was at the events today, someone was talking super loud about um Candace, Lonnie and Candace. They were just talking about you. I was literally standing right there. They were talking about reseller YouTube channels. I was just <laughs> overhearing them. Uh, 
but it was mostly about Lonnie and Candace. They said, we love watching the order building every day. Mm -hmm. And that, uh, yeah. I, I don't remember exactly. I feel like they were trash talking a little bit, <laughs> but oh. I, not like oh. specific. Not like specific. should have been like, can you say that again? <laughs> right. Lonnie, we got some on the on the street live <laughs> reviews. <laughs> it's definitely a mixed bag. I mean, you can find Kathy at the bins. <sighs> so it can't be that horrible to find people. I probably will never look up though. <laughs> I'm just literally <laughs> always just like looking down, looking at the stuff with my guard. That'd be a funny video. Like you, you be at the bends and I walk in and see how long it takes for her to notice me. Like I'll just be recording her from like across the, the room. <laughs> one day. Like a fly on a wall. <laughs> That's good for all, but I feel like I see more men, but they might also be more vocal about it. <clears throat> Becky knows more women. Never take anything from the bins you can't clean up, <laughs> including people. YouTube, I feel like it is men dominated. Mimi says, I'm nothing special, but I get hit on at the bins. <laughs> very old men pushing walkers. <laughs> you are very special. You are very special. In a non <laughs> insulting way. <laughs> I dream of doing it full time. I see Kathy's Instagram posts every day, and I'm always so jealous, living her best life. It's a pretty good little life, huh? <laughs> I could just be working at Subway or helping people put contacts in their eyes. <laughs> that was not fun. You could also be living your best life working a subway, though. I mean, I I could. not you. But <laughs> Somebody. <laughs> Somebody could. Maybe Chick Fil A. I could live my best life working at Chick Fil A. <laughs> ben says, "I mean, I'd chat Kathy at Ben. Stay out of the Ben's, don't you? I don't ever want to see you there." Uh, there were some. There were the same people there from two years ago when I went in January. Now that I've been going more, it's pretty much the same people every day. Yeah. The regs, the regulars. There you go. You got you got a fan. <laughs> Erica believes in you, Rach. You could do it. You could be a full time reseller. I don't. I don't know. I think doing anything full time is is difficult. Linda says her posts are the best. I look forward to them every day. What do I post that's so interesting? I, I just post whatever I'm doing, which sometimes I'm like, this is dumb, but it's, <laughs> I'm like bored, so I'm going to share it. Mimi says, I need to start posting more on IG. Yeah. You yeah. <laughs> sometimes I worry. Actually, who was it? I was thinking about Little Miss Q today. I was like, I yeah. what she I feel like I thought of her mostly because I saw somebody's post that says, does anyone have any reseller related tattoos? <laughs> <laughs> uh, we know of one. <laughs> so if you're watching Q, I hope Q? you're doing well. <laughs> I know. I, I know you <clears> a lot of times <laughs> if she is watching, she's yeah. just watching. Yeah. Always watching. Dash, what is she, Dasher? Door dash she, she was, she was doing, I don't know if she's still doing it, but right. driving for Dash, DoorDash. <laughs> dash and reselling, momming. <laughs> hey, uh, Erica's got a Ginger Marvin tramp stamp. <laughs> uh, hope she's okay. I feel like Q's going to be okay no matter what. She's, she's a resilient <laughs> No matter where she is in life, she's going to be just up fine. Now, Mimi is in uh, Georgia. Georgia. Yeah. She's in Atlanta. Hot Atlanta. 
That's where she's based. But she's always all over the place. You've never been to Georgia, huh? Not even like I have been to Georgia when I was a kid. Georgia is uh, where I went outside one time, maybe for an hour. And as a kid, as a kid, and I got the worst sunburn of my life, like so blisters on my ears, sunburn. And, I'll never go back to Georgia. and <laughs> curse Georgia, I will never go. I will never go. <laughs> yeah, right. Well, <laughs> Erica's like, come visit me, guys. Sorry, sorry, childhood trauma. <laughs> I can never go to Georgia again. Was it Georgia? I don't know. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Why were you in Georgia? My aunt Carol lived there, <clears throat> and we were visiting. What I miss? What's wrong? No, no, I'm not saying anything's wrong with Miss Q. Uh, she hasn't checked. We just haven't in heard from her in a while. <laughs> We're just, Whenever people that chat yeah. that don't chat for a while, I get a little worried. Like, Zach, are you out there, Zach? But he bought something like a week or two ago, yeah. so I feel like he's okay. <laughs> Becky's going to be that way in April. Mimi's going to be visiting Colorado in the spring sometime. We're going to leave. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> the spring, huh? Let me know. I'll be at the... I'll come to the bins if you go to the bins. <laughs> Well, then I guess don't come anymore then. <laughs> Gonna get my tram stamp removed now. <laughs> I was gonna say Georgia is for lovers, but I think that's Virginia. What's it? Isn't it like Ohio? For lovers? What's that? What state is for lovers? <laughs> Virginia. Virginia state? <laughs> Wasn't there like a song or something? Yeah, Ohio is for lovers by Hawthorne Heights. <laughs> Emo. This. <laughs> Do you mind? <laughs> so I'm Just watching something. the news? <laughs> I'm learning something. This is how I learn. <laughs> uh, I didn't, I don't know why. Did you cut it off? <laughs> it was only a one minute video. <laughs> <laughs> Erica's like, nah, we got peaches here. <clears throat> Mama with a camera says, I'm headed to South Atlanta this weekend. For Ninja or? Gymnastics? Is that what your daughter did? Are you going for ninjastics? Thought it was Virginia. I mean, the saying is probably Virginia, but there was there was definitely a song by Hawthorne Heights called Ohio is for Lovers. <sighs> it's 10 o'clock. I still gotta live late. <laughs> Three hours live? Last time I threw that was so good. Lori said it was good the last time she thrifted that area. I mean, going to Georgia, getting a lot of good thrift finds. Tommy says, I want to come visit you two, Liz and Sarah. That'd be fun. We're here, Tommy. Ninja, not ballet. Oh, ballet. Not ninja. Oh, ballet. Ninjastics. Kathy wants to go to, I know. We're going to go. I got a lot of planning to do for a date tomorrow, so. So much planning. <laughs> uh, guys, thank you so much for hanging out. We appreciate you so, so much. Thanks for the support while we're only putting out one video a week. And thanks for coming to the live. Maybe next week we should put out two videos. Two videos uh, next week? <laughs> or one video out tomorrow for this week. I don't I mean, want to say that until we... How much can you really get done tomorrow and then the kids don't even have school? Well, I could finish the deck tomorrow. <laughs> Maybe. Nice. If it's not too cold. Yeah, you should do that because uh, it's going to get cold on Saturday. Yeah, I want to do it before the snow. But okay. it is only going to be 30-something degrees. So. You like but that. I'll I'll suffer through. I do like the cold. <laughs> I'll be out there in my flippy floppies. <laughs> 
And you're sneezing. <laughs> you're gonna be sneezing. Can't sneeze when it's that cold. <laughs> you're gonna wait till our date night to sneeze all over me. <laughs> <laughs> Kathy, do you go to the bins or on a regular day? You went today, right? Yeah, I, I generally usually been going on Tuesday, but this week I was trying to like list a bunch of stuff that has been left over from bins halls. Um just to get out of the garage. Chris was cleaning the garage to fit some of our stuff from the other house. And yeah. I was like, I better list this stuff. So, Plus Amber Resells was in her story the other day saying, I'm gonna count my death pile items. <laughs> she only had like 62. I know that she has a full-time job other than resell. And yeah. I was like, I, I probably have 200. But I probably had more than 200. I don't, I think, I listed a bunch already, so. I probably have about 200 though, which is fine. Yeah, I mean, yeah. They're mostly from the bins, and I'd like to have at least not 100. 200 of that has yeah. been in a death pile for long. No. I mean, there's only like there was I, like almost no death pile when we moved here, so yeah. It's not like a lot out of pocket that you know that's just sitting there. Like it's money that I could be selling, but I need some fun in my life, like going to the bins once a week. Because date nights are not going to be fun. That's really fun, <laughs> especially if we go to good old bins. <laughs> you have better ideas I'm yeah. open to <laughs> Mimi says yes two videos <laughs> we love you guys be safe take care thanks Erica you too you too Ben says have a good night I love my day job and benefits but you folks make a good mm -hmm. argument for reselling Ben you don't have to quit your job man yeah. you could just sell resell one or two things a month might buy a whole video game. Save them for the snow days. Good night. Good night, guys. Good night, we night. appreciate you so much. <laughs> Everything else I said about 10 minutes ago. But we're going to go. Uh, okay, bye. Yeah, I don't know what to push. <laughs> bye. <laughs> Nothing beats the pins. <laughs>